Hey guys, I am so excited to make these freezer meals. This is a pre-recorded class, so if you want the freebie with all of the recipes, the shopping list, the labels, click the link in the description below and I'll send it to you via email. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. I am Kelly from The Family Freezer and I'm so excited to show you how to make 10 healthy freezer meals for your Instant Pot. Are you an Instant Pot lover who is looking for some new freezer recipes? Are you brand new to Instant Pots? Maybe you think they're complicated and you really want me to show you what's so great about them? Are you just one of my best friends who wants to hang out and get some new recipes? If so, then this is the class for you. This is your freebie. Right after class, I'm going to email this out because it has all of the super simple recipes that I'm making today. It has a full shopping list organized by aisle at the grocery store, even the labels that you can print and attach to your freezer bags. Now, class is gonna be about an hour long. I hope you can stay the entire time. I will do a cooking demo at the end, show you how you can make these in the Instant Pot. I will also share a discount code if you haven't joined my membership site yet, because I know you're gonna join and you'll get to see how to make your next prep session. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna jump into recipe number one, which is our basic barbecue chicken. And I will tell you how this is going to work. So I am gonna go through the recipes just in an assembly line, adding all of the ingredients raw. <laughs> we will add the meat at the very end. I'm gonna leave it in my refrigerator until the last minute. But otherwise I'm gonna add all the sauces, spices, seasonings, veggies right now. So we're starting with olive oil. I added a quarter cup. You don't need to write this down because you're gonna get that freebie right after class with the full directions. And I'm adding just a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. This is a really good shredded chicken that cooks in the Instant Pot. You can also cook it on the grill. I have those instructions for you in your freebie. So here are our seasonings. Salt, chili powder, paprika, cinnamon, all in here. And then the day of cooking, you will add a little bit of chicken broth to make sure this reaches pressure in your Instant Pot. Now, all of these recipes have full Instant Pot cooking instructions. If they can be cooked other ways, I included that as well. So this has grill instructions. I have a stovetop recipe. They're almost all crock pot recipes so that you can choose how you wanna cook them. But I am really excited to show you how to make these in your Instant Pot. And like I said, these are all gonna be frozen raw. That's what sets my recipes apart. They are all frozen raw. They come together like this. <laughs> so I have already added everything that we need in here except for the chicken, which I will add at the very end. But maybe you think you don't have enough time for freezer meals. And I get that. I have seen freezer meals online where people spend an entire day, an entire weekend stocking their freezer. And I don't know about you, but I don't have that much time. <laughs> I have five kids. I feel like I barely have enough time for a one hour class. So I have always focused on these really simple meals that can be frozen raw. They cook for the first time out of the freezer that tastes exactly like a freshly prepared meal. Once you make them, you will never go back. <laughs> I'm going to interrupt myself for one minute to tell you about our Family Freezer VIP site. If you're ready to change your life with my style of freezer meals that can be frozen raw, a membership to our VIP site will be your best friend. I see VIP as the most expansive collection of easy and healthy freezer recipes online and the tools you need to actually make them work in your life. With VIP, you can filter all of my healthy freezer recipes based on protein, keyword, cooking method, diet, and more. You can even combine filters to drill down on the exact type of meals that you want to make. These are delicious meals that are, you are going to love sharing with your family and friends. You can auto-generate shopping lists that you can print or save to access later on your phone. One of my favorite features of VIP is a full class library with videos of all of the cooking classes that I've taught over the past three years that you can watch on demand and download the freebies. I honestly think everyone can benefit from freezer meals, whether you're making them every week, every month, or even every few months. We have tens of thousands of members worldwide, and if you want to join us, just go to thefamilyfreezer.com slash VIP and enter this coupon code to save 20% off the sign-up fee. Let's do recipe number two, which is our honey garlic beef with sugar snap peas. This is so great in the Instant Pot. You could also make it in the Crock Pot. But 
What we need to do is add some soy sauce. We're gonna add a quarter cup of soy sauce. I'm just gonna keep reusing my measuring cups, my measuring spoons, my knife as I go. So that's another way that you save a lot of time with these freezer meals because you're only gonna be washing these once, or in my case, putting them in the dishwasher once. Just saves so much time in the cleanup process. We need a quarter cup of honey. And how this meal in particular works is, is the honey garlic beef. You cook this in your Instant Pot, and then you add a bag of frozen sugar snap peas. So if you're cooking them in Instant Pot, you add them just for the last two minutes. You do an extra two minutes of cooking time, and that's how they get al dente. They're so good if you cook it in the crock pot. I would say in the last 30 to 60 minutes of cooking. But these full instructions are in your recipe. I kind of walk you through the process. That's one of the cool things about the Instant Pot. It's like a one pot, one pot appliance so that you don't have to use extra pots to cook your meal. We added our honey. Now we need sesame oil. There we go. Yep, we need two tablespoons. There we go. Just make sure, all right, I got it. Okay, and we need ketchup. If you are brand new to me, to the Family Freezer, welcome. Maybe you saw an ad on Facebook. Thank you so much. You just like thought, what is this all about? I don't know. I'm going to take a chance on this lady. <laughs> if that's true, thank you. I really appreciate you. I think you're going to love these meals. They really are just one of a kind. So here are our seasonings. Onion powder, garlic, salt, or sorry, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, crushed red pepper flakes. Very good seasonings. And just back to my story. So what happened is 10 years ago, I started making these meals. I had two young daughters at the time, a two-year-old and a baby. And I remember feeling like I didn't have any time. I mean, I was taking care of them, trying to work, trying to keep my house semi-clean, cooking dinner. It just felt like I didn't have any time for the things I really wanted to be doing. And I'm really good at organizing. I've always been good at that. I had been making these crock pot meals and I thought, what if I just put them in the freezer? They go in the crock pot raw. What if I put them in the freezer raw and cook them later? And this all started in the crock pot because I didn't have an instant pot at the time. But that idea was like a light bulb went off because if I didn't have to cook dinner at night, I could go on a walk with my friend. I could take my girls outside and play with them. I could visit my grandparents. I could sit down with my husband and talk about his day. It just felt like the world would open up to me if I didn't have to cook dinner. And I want you to ask yourself that question. What would you do if you had an extra hour to yourself every day? Because this really gives you that time. And what I found is that this is what works for me year after year. It's been 10 years. This isn't a quick fix. I have five children now. This has grown into a full business my husband and I do together. Life doesn't get any easier. It's always busy. I'm sure your life is busy. And this is something that you're going to be able to do again and again and again and will work for you over years to really simplify your life. Let's move on to our third recipe, which is our sausage pesto white bean soup. Such a good recipe, really simple and delicious. And it calls for five ounces of baby spinach. It might seem like a lot. It cooks down. It's delicious. It's healthy. So trust me, throw that whole bag in there. This is just one of the two recipes we're going to make today with baby spinach. I wash my hands before class, so I might be touching some of the ingredients today. We need cannellini beans. These were already rinsed and drained. And I also have my seasonings in this can. Garlic powder, onion powder, kosher salt. If you are new to kosher salt, I really want you to buy it. This is something I've only started using more recently. I've been working with some chefs. They have turned me on to this. It's a coarser grain and it really intensifies the flavor of your meals without making them taste extra salty. So it's included in a couple recipes today. I hope you buy it and don't just use regular table salt. It really is a fun thing, fun new thing to try. So I'm using that kosher salt. And then we do basil pesto. This adds so much flavor to this meal. You're going to love this. So I'm going to pour this entire amount of basil in here. I'm just going to scoop it in. I wish you could, sm wish you could smell this. Oh my gosh, this basil, yum. 
All right, this meal is so good too because you serve it with a tomato relish. It's just simple chopped tomatoes with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. It's right on your recipe, but it's so flavorful, really sets this apart. And I'll tell you just a little bit more about my story. So you know how I got started and then I started sharing my recipes on my blog, The Family Freezer, and what I found was that not only were they helping me and changing my life, they were helping other people too. So yes, it's been 10 years, so much hard work, so much help and um, encouragement from people like you. I know a lot of people here are, are members of our site. Thank you. We now have over 350 thousand people who get our free newsletter like that's just mind-blowing to me thank you if you get that free newsletter and we have over 60,000 members we've made over a million dollars in cookbook sales we've been on buzzfeed food costco connection todayshow.com so many more thank you thank you thank you whether you have met me here today or you've been following me for all 10 years i appreciate you and i am here to help you however i can Let's move on to recipe number four, and it is brand new. It is our Bang Bang Shrimp Lettuce Wraps. If you know me, you know I don't do a ton of seafood in my recipes, but I went on Instagram and I said, what Instant Pot recipe do you want in this class? And overwhelmingly, people voted for this Bang Bang Shrimp Lettuce Wraps. If you don't eat shrimp, you can substitute chicken. It says that right on your recipe, but I think you're gonna really like it. I made this, obviously, I try, I'm trying all the recipes, but I made it for dinner recently. I'm gonna add my juice with half a lime. The other half of the lime went straight into my glass of water that I was drinking earlier, so don't let that half a lime go to waste. Put it in your water, it tastes so good. Then I'm gonna add some minced garlic. This is such a shortcut. Don't worry about peeling garlic cloves. This will save you so much time. You just need one teaspoon of minced garlic and it won't go to waste. You can keep it in your refrigerator until next time you use it. We will use it in some other recipes today though. Some sweet chili sauce. Okay. So do you know anyone who maybe isn't a fan of freezer meals? Maybe they think they're bland, they're mushy, they all taste the same. <laughs> I have heard it all, trust me. This might be this might be how you feel. I hope I can change your mind. It might be your significant other, your kids. I wanna tell you these meals are full of flavor. They are delicious. We are gonna vary the side dishes so that they do not all taste the same. These are lettuce wraps. You're gonna have that crunchy lettuce. It tastes so good. We need a tablespoon of sriracha. They will not be spicy, just flavorful, I promise you. My kids have to eat these meals. They are ages four through 12. They, I will say they have to eat these meals. Some, some are pickier than others, so <laughs> I don't have the answer about making everybody eat the same thing, but I'm working on it and I'm determined that it'll happen someday. Just keep on trying. All right, we need half a table, half a teaspoon, sorry, salt. And I really made sure when I was picking these recipes for today to give you that variety. So we have Asian influences, American, Mexican, Italian. I really wanted that variety for you. And like I said, we're varying the side dishes. There's always a suggested side dish with the meal if it needs one like this one. These are our lettuce wraps. It says to top with diced red peppers and serve with rice. Totally optional, you don't have to do that. But when I make these lettuce wraps, I love eating them that way. A little rice, I use my rice cooker. I put a little bit of rice on the lettuce, a little bit of that diced red pepper for crunch. Mm. So good, my parents tried this recipe. They loved it, oh my gosh, it was such a hit. I might end up giving this one to them because they loved it so much. They are moving into a new house, so this might have to be like a housewarming gift. They thought it was so good. And it only took two minutes in the Instant Pot. Like, isn't that wild? Instant Pots, I just say, blow my mind how quickly they make meals. Oh, I want to tell you, Tracy sent me a message. I am a new member. I absolutely love my membership. I'm a working mom of four and my husband and I do not get home from work until 6 p.m. It's so wonderful having a hot meal ready. You literally changed my life when it comes to making healthy meals for my family. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy, thank you. I love sharing other people's stories because it's one thing for me to say these meals are great. They're gonna change your life. And I just think it's something else to have other people say, yes, they really are working. They're gonna work for you, I'm telling you. Let's move on to our chicken chili. And I'm excited to make this recipe. It's one of the first ones I wrote in my very first cookbook, probably 10, nine, 10 years ago. But it's the first time I'm featuring it in a class. 
And we are adding a diced red pepper and a diced onion. Hopefully you can see that because it's so good. Really healthy, adding that to this bag. And then I am going to add a can of black beans. These were drained and rinsed, and also a can of cannellini beans, white beans, to our chicken chili. We will add diced tomatoes, undrained, and also a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. Those are both undrained. You just pour them right in. Some frozen corn. Add that to our bag. And then our seasonings are paprika, chili powder, cumin, oregano, garlic powder, crushed red pepper flakes. Just enough to make it really taste good, be flavorful, nothing bland here. But again, not too spicy so that picky eaters and kids can eat it too. Now, I wanna tell you during this class, this is for people who love their Instant Pot. Is that you? I got you. I got so many good Instant Pot recipes for you. It's also good for people who are brand new. If your Instant Pot is still in the box, I'm gonna walk you through cooking them. If you think they're really complicated, I'm going to help you. We'll do our demo at the end. I promise you all my Instant Pot recipes are very simple. I do, I use pressure cook, just the pressure cook button. I don't do all the other buttons. There's like a soup, what else do we have? I don't even know what all they have. Porridge, oatmeal, beans, egg, egg? <laughs> Maybe that's for hard boiled eggs. Um, steam, multigrain, okay. If you do all that, you are awesome, I commend you. If not, we're not even gonna worry about that. We're just gonna do pressure cook. Keep it so simple, like as simple as a crock pot. Let's move on, I think we are ready for recipe number six. This is our chicken cacciatore with pancetta. I'm so excited for you to try this meal. All right, we need to add crushed tomatoes. Now, we only need a 14.5 ounce can. I could not find one at my grocery store. So I bought the bigger one. I'm just gonna add half of the crushed tomatoes. But I really wanted to use crushed tomatoes in this recipe. And this is all they had, and it was only a dollar, so it was worth it. So I'll just set this aside. We have our tomato paste. We're using the entire can, so you don't have to worry about any of that going to waste. I always like to use all the ingredients that I can. Don't want, really just a way to like save money when you're making these meals. Okay, then we're adding diced pancetta. This recipe, so typically in my classes, they are all recipes I have written myself. However, we have recently hired two chefs to also help create some new recipes for the family freezer. This was created by a chef and I will promise you when you eat it, you will know. Not to like knock my recipes, but you, it's like tastes that good. Like these are not your average Instant Pot Crock-Pot meals. Like this is next level, easy as possible, but tastes insane. So I'm pumped for you. All right, our red pepper sliced, so healthy and fresh. We're just adding that right to our bag. And then we have a package of diced pancetta. It comes pre-diced. We're using the entire thing. This recipe is so good. We serve it with spaghetti, which is so good. My picky eaters too. My kids all love spaghetti, even if they only want a little sauce. That works for them. All right, we need two tablespoons of olive oil, and then we add some balsamic vinegar too. Just gives it a little more depth of flavor. Okay, we're gonna add two teaspoons, just a little bit, but you can taste it when you cook this meal. It's really worth it. I started mentioning that you can save money um, with these meals. And so I just wanna talk more about that because do you love saving money? I mean, yes, right? <laughs> Who doesn't want to save money? <laughs> These meals are such an affordable way to eat. So when I bought the ingredients, I spent $150 total. I didn't use any coupons. I didn't shop sales. I, to be honest, I bought like expensive meat. I wanted like really good meat. So I spent $150 that works out to $15 per meal, $2.42 per serving. So if you shop sales, it's going to be even cheaper. But really, this is just like, such an easy way to save money, even if you don't. Uh, I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but like we ordered pizza last week, it was $65, that was one meal. Granted, I have five kids, we have seven people eating, so we have to order a lot of food, but 
We're saving so much my money, money by eating these most nights. So they're just such an easy way to mix it in with your meals. Maybe you're still going out to eat, so ordering food, eating leftovers someday, but like make these meals too. It really helps you save money. I know the average American spends $3,000 a year eating out. So even if you ate out just a little bit less, um, you could save money and these really are healthy and delicious. So I got off my soapbox. Let's add minced garlic, oregano, kosher salt, onion powder. All right, it's all in there. I think we got it all. Let me double check our recipe. Yep, we got it, so good. Let's move on to recipe number seven. We are just flying through these. You can see when they're frozen raw how easy it is to assemble these meals. This is a sweet Hawaiian beef with peppers. Like the sugar snap pea recipe, it's a bag of frozen veggies that are added at the very end of the cooking time. You uh, pressure cook them for two minutes. That's all it takes. Let's add apple juice, just one cup of apple juice. I bought a small bottle so that I wouldn't have to waste any. My kids aren't huge juice drinkers, not apple juice. And then we use a little bit of light brown sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. On the day of cooking, you add a can, a small can of pineapple chunks in their juice, and then those frozen veggies too. So it really is a one pot meal. I have on the recipe to serve it with rice, totally up to you. I should point out these work so good for different diets. So whether you're gluten-free, dairy-free, a lot of my recipes are naturally fit with those diets. So they are gluten-free, dairy-free. On my membership site, I have keto, paleo, I think they're diabetic, um, vegetarian, what else? Oh, Whole30. So lots of options. These really should work for basically any diet that you're following. But this is all we need. Let's, oh, Teresa messaged me and let's see what she said. I became a member after watching one of your videos. I hate cooking, I wasn't good at it, but now I make stress-free dinners that my family loves. Plus, I just spent $127 yesterday for eight or nine meals, which is a huge savings for us, and there is no food waste. I've thrown away so much food that I bought to make recipe, didn't get the chance to, and it went bad, or had so much left over, no one ate it. I get that, Teresa, we've all been there. Thank you for messaging me. I'm glad these meals are solving that problem for you, that you're saving money, that you're enjoying them, that they work for your family. Ooh. Okay, hibachi noodles. This is so good. This is my 10 year old daughter's favorite recipe. You add spaghetti. So I'm gonna show you, all right. You actually add just the raw spaghetti. It's in the box but I'm gonna break it in half, the whole pound. I'm gonna add it to this bag, and then you end up cooking it in your Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you could cook it on your stove top, or even if you just wanna cook it on your stove top, that's fine. Let's see if I can break these without, oops. I was gonna say without making a mess, but that might not be possible. <laughs> oh, it's all good. So all the recipes that I'm making today can be cooked in your Instant Pot. I included all of your cooking directions right on your recipe. However, I also included any other cooking method that I could. So if it could be cooked on the, in the crock pot, which basically every recipe can, but maybe not this one, don't cook spaghetti in your crock pot. But all the other ones, I included your crock pot instructions. I know we have at least one grill recipe. I included your grill instructions. Like I said, this one can be cooked on your stove top. I know that the sausage pesto soup is also great on the stove top. I included that so that you have so many options when you're making these meals. But I do love them for the Instant Pot. The Instant Pot is your go-to when it's five o'clock. What are you gonna make for dinner? Right? So you go to your freezer, you get one of these meals, you got it. Okay, we got our uncooked spaghetti. I'm gonna add just two tablespoons of butter. Just plop it right in there, just like that. I will show you the sauce. So I already measured some of these ingredients. I know I'd be talking a lot. And there is jarred minced ginger, the fresh stuff, but in the jar, it comes in the jar just like the, the um, garlic. That way you can keep it in your fridge and use it over and over again. Jarred minced ginger, the jarred minced garlic. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> Soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, sesame oil, mirin, all in here, uh, and some salt. Uh, trust me, if you have to buy any of these ingredients, let's say you don't have teriyaki sauce, or if you don't have mirin, 
buy it because this is one that you are going to make over and over again. Like I said, this is my 10 year old daughter's favorite. She always asks me to make this for lunch on Saturdays. So go ahead and buy it. You're going to use them again and again. And then the day of cooking, you will add some water too, but that'll help it reach pressure in your Instant Pot, help it boil on your stovetop. So simple, vegetarian meal, delicious. Dallas Wedding Photography had sent me a message and said, hi Kelly, I've been a fan of freezer meals for years, but I don't do it consistently enough because it's not easy to find recipes. Well, no more, I'm so happy I discovered you in your membership. This afternoon I made 12 freezer meals. My grocery pickup was only $160 and it only took about an hour and a half to assemble them. With the help of my three-year-old, just wanted to say how much I love it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I love when people message me. Please send me your messages, send me your emails and tell me how these meals are working for you because that really motivates me to just keep sharing. Let's move on to recipe number nine, our creamy chicken penne. This is my 12 year old daughter's favorite recipe. I love it because it's a one pot meal. Now here's our other bag of fresh baby spinach. We're going to dump it in. Uh Oh, I just realized we forgot we forgot an ingredient. So bear with me because we didn't do our diced green onion. This was for her bocce noodles and you have to add it to the bocce noodles. I debated going back and forth and thought, should I just use a regular onion? Because who wants to buy a whole little thing of green onions for one recipe? But I will tell you, it is worth it. The flavor and the texture that this adds to the hibachi noodles is worth it. When I demo my membership site for you, I can show you some other recipes that use green onions so that way they don't go to waste. Unless you like eating them raw, my dad loves green onions. He'll eat them with a sandwich. But if you don't like that, I don't especially love that, just pick another recipe and make it and make that with it. Or you could dice them all right now, put them in a freezer bag and just freeze them in the future for another recipe. That would be totally fine. You could freeze them raw. I do that with celery when I buy fresh celery and then I don't eat it all. I just dice it, dice it up, put it in the freezer. Anytime I need a cup of celery, I pull it out. All right. Now for our creamy chicken penne, we already have our baby spinach. We need Parmesan cheese, just half a cup. I'm gonna use the cup I've been using. I'm just gonna wipe it with my apron. So this apron is a freezer cooking apron. My mom made it for me. So we have made so many meals together over the years. 28 meals, 40 meals when I was pregnant once. <laughs> and my mom found I was just using so many paper towels, probably a whole roll of paper towels when I was cooking. And she thought, what if I just sewed a towel to your apron and you could just wipe everything as you go? And so it was just amazing. And she ended up opening her own Etsy shop so that other people could buy them too. I know she sold over a thousand of them like over the last year or two. So if you want one, you can buy one. The link is in your free recipes. It just has the towel attached, uh, really keeps you clean, helps you wipe your hands. She's one person. Sometimes she's sold out, but if you can't get it today, look, check back because she's always adding more. She loves to sew. She's really good at it. You'll see she's all five star reviews. Let's add our olive oil. We need two tablespoons. This is a one pot meal because even the pasta cooks in your instant pot. I love that. I had to include at least one pasta recipe. I did that spaghetti for the hibachi noodles, but I love that in the instant pot, you could pressure cook this. So you cook the chicken and the spinach and sauce for 25 minutes. Then you shred the chicken. Then you put the pasta in and you just pressure cook it for three more minutes. And then the pasta is cooked and you just stir it up and you have your one pot meal. It's so great. Um, if you're an instant pot lover, you get it. If you're a newbie, you're going to get it. You're going to love it. It's so great. Now we need a can of diced tomatoes. These are undrained. I'm going to dump that in and then we need our seasonings. This is a great recipe for picky eaters. Like I said, my 12 year old loves this and hey, it has a bag of spinach in it. It cooks down, but if you can get kids to eat spinach, that is a huge win. And that's all of the ingredients. Then the day of cooking, you add some chicken broth, you add some heavy cream to like thicken it up, make that creamy consistency. I really walk you through it in the recipe. 
And if you use the label, so these are stickers. I printed them on stickers. <laughs> if you want to, that's on your freebie. It tells you how to do that. But you could print on regular computer paper and just cut it out and tape it to your bags with clear shipping tape. And it just says exactly how to cook it. So you don't have to memorize it. You don't even have to keep the recipe if you don't want to, because it'll tell you exactly how to cook it. And then our last recipe is chicken carnitas. This is such a good shredded chicken recipe. And I need some fresh squeezed citrus. We're gonna use a navel orange and a lime. Most of my recipes have six servings. Now I have found that most people want to cook bigger batches when they do that. I have five kids, it's me and my husband, there's seven of us. We need those servings. But even if you don't, it's so great to have the leftovers. They're so good for lunch. Then you don't have to worry about what to eat for lunch, what to make for lunch. You could just have the leftovers. However, let's say you're only cooking for one person or two people and you just think, I don't wanna eat this every day. <laughs> it sounds great, Kelly, but I need a little more variety. What I would do is split each recipe into two freezer bags. That way you use all the ingredients, you use your entire can of beans, use your entire can of tomato sauce, and then you end up with double the meals. It's so simple, I'll show you how to cook it in a smaller Instant Pot. I'd probably use the three quart Instant Pot, but the cooking directions are the same as the big one. I use my six quart most often, but I have done a lot of experimenting with the three quart Instant Pot and the cooking instructions are the same. So that's what I would do if you had less people. Just split it in two bags and then, and then cook in the smaller Instant Pot. All right, we have our fresh navel orange juice, our uh, fresh lime juice, this is a really fresh, fresh recipe. And our seasonings are minced garlic, cumin, kosher salt, oregano, pepper. You add just a tiny bit of water the day of cooking to make sure it reaches pressure in the Instant Pot. And I'm ready to go ahead and add my meat to all of these meals. So I'm just gonna quickly add them and then I'll show you. Oh, I don't want that to fall over. All right, I always save my meat until the end as I'm working in this assembly line. It keeps my hands clean until the very end. It keeps, you don't have to worry about cross-contamination. My knife only touches the meat once. My cutting board only touches the, the meat once. It really is just an easy way when you're making a bunch of meals at once to do it, um, just do the meat all at the end and get set up here. All right, so I'm gonna start by doing the chicken. I'm gonna do all the chicken. I'm adding the chicken breast whole to the bags and I'm going to add, I'm gonna check and see if I have to trim them. These look really good. I don't think I need to trim this one. But I'm gonna trim a little bit of fat if necessary. Otherwise, I'm gonna add them whole and I will just slice or shred them after cooking. That makes it quicker whenever you're putting them in your bags and also just um, tastes so good. Like everyone loves, at least my family, everyone loves shredded chicken or you can slice it. Sometimes these breasts are really big. Right here we have three chicken breasts. It's like, well then how do you feed six people? It's like, well, you slice the chicken or you shred it and you just end up with so much that it really does work for that many that many people. And if you're cooking for a crowd, you could always add a little bit more meat or you could double these up, maybe cook one batch in your Instant Pot, one in your crock pot. You got it. Okay, I'm gonna wait. This was the smallest package of chicken. So I'm gonna add that to my chicken chili because that was only called for one pound of chicken. The other ones are all a pound and a half to two pounds. That's what I'm adding to them. All right, I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, let's add the rest of our chicken breasts. I am just adding, like I said, the recipes call for either a pound and a half or two pounds of chicken. I don't want any of this to go to waste, so I'm gonna add the whatever is in each package, I'm adding it. My family will eat it. I'm not gonna be super picky. The cooking time is the same. It really doesn't matter. Um, if you wanted to, you could absolutely like cut it down, maybe only add one pound if you're cooking for less people, or if you want to, if you're really trying to save money and only want to add the exact amount that's called for, that works. I'm not always good at eyeballing the weight of chicken. 
Okay, moving right along. And you don't have to trim it. You actually could wait until after cooking, but I just find this saves me a little bit more time on the day of cooking. If I don't have to trim the fat, if it's already been done, it's like I'm always trying to save time whenever I make dinner. So this is a really easy way to do it. And one more container of chicken. Then we'll move on to the other meals. I don't know if you can see, but I am, how I'm doing this is when I'm quickly slicing the chicken, I'm using one hand, my left hand is what's touching the chicken. My right hand is actually staying clean. I'm just using that to hold the knife. So that's kind of one of the ways that I work through uh, meat when I'm cooking. Even using my left hand, then I just pick up whatever the fat and then throw that in the trash can. And this is my messy hand, so I'm using my clean hand just to move these over so that I can get my sausage out of the fridge and also the beef. Now the two beef recipes, my honey garlic beef and my Hawaiian uh, beef with peppers call for sirloin tip roast. When I was at the grocery store, the sirloin tip roast was like, eh, okay. So I ended up getting, that's what I got. Beef round. Oh, this is a sirloin tip steak. It's a beef round sirloin tip steak. That looked really good to me. And then I also got, what did I get? A London broil. So I want you to feel like you can follow my recipes exactly and they will turn out great, I promise you. Or if you go to the grocery store like I do and something doesn't look right, or you're just not sure, if you're thinking, I don't know if my family is gonna like that cut, you can use something else, don't be shy. Um, one of these recipes, actually, the carnitas calls for chicken thighs. They're really, really tender and delicious, but I don't know, some of my kids are going through a phase right now where they don't love chicken thigh. So today, I just use chicken breast in the recipe. And it says that, I actually put that on the meal as well, or on the recipe, I included if you don't like uh, chicken thigh, you could substitute chicken breast. But I do think it's nice to have that variety, to use another cut of chicken. And chicken, a lot of people love chicken thighs. They are more affordable and they stay really tender. So if you love chicken thigh and want to use that in more of your recipes, go for it. I support you. I should point out my bags. So I am using reusable freezer bags in all of today's meals. These are family freezer brand. <laughs> like my husband actually found a manufacturer to make these because I tried so many bags over the years. You can use regular disposable bags from the grocery store like Hefty or Ziploc. They work fine, but I really wanted a reusable alternative. I make these meals all the time and I love these. So we just tested so many and these are the best. They don't rip, they don't leak and they're very easy to clean. Whenever I'm making a meal for dinner, all I have to do is take the bag, turn it inside out and then quickly wash it with soap and water. Really quick and easy to clean. Good for the environment. You end up saving money in the long run because you're not buying more bags. So you don't need them to make meals, but if you have been making meals for, for some time, I would love for you to get them or try them sometime or get them as a gift for yourself or someone else. They really are like next level freezer meals and work so well. The same thing is for the stand. So holding up the bags are our freezer baggy stands, <laughs> which are not absolutely necessary. However, I will tell you that when you're filling these meals in an assembly line, they are so useful, just so helpful. I've had meals fall on the floor before, dump everywhere. I mean, ew, it's just such a nightmare. <laughs> you think you're saving time and then you just have a huge mess on the floor. But these, they hold them upright. The arms adjust up and down so that you can use smaller bags or bigger bags. Okay, this roast is good. I'm gonna put that in our honey garlic beef. And this one I just cut before uh, adding to the bag. You probably could add the entire roast and then shred it after cooking, but I just think the honey garlic beef with the sugar scent piece tastes really good cut into bite-sized pizzas. So I wanted to go ahead and do that. For our sausage, 
soup. You just use one package of sweet sausage. I'm going to quickly slice it into like little bite-sized rounds. This cooks so good in the Instant Pot. It's almost like little meatballs. Oh my gosh, my son loved this. Last time I made it, I think he decided this is his new favorite soup. <laughs> He's six years old. That little boy, he loves soup. He's like, ooh, do we have bread for our soup? He loves soup and he loves, uh, he loves meat. He's a meat eater. But this, uh, you would be surprised how this raw sausage, if you've never cooked like raw sausage or ground beef in your crock pot before, this is gonna change your life. Give it a try. I promise you, I wouldn't be making thousands of meals over 10 years if they weren't good. <laughs> they save you so much time when freezing and cooking. And I think the consistency is better than if they're cooked ahead of time. So give it a try. We have one more of these roasts before I put these in my freezer. And I am going to put them all just in my regular refrigerator freezer. We cleaned it out before class today. Actually, Andy cleaned it out. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Just, you know, took out some of the chicken fries and the ice cream and made space for these meals because um, our freezer is normally more full. However, we have a, an extra refrigerator that we keep in our garage. We keep water in it, juice for the kids, and so that freezer is really great. That's like my freezer meal, my main freezer meal freezer. And I've used that for years, even when I was pregnant. Uh, I remember I was pregnant with my third daughter. I made 28 freezer meals. Really thought I was gonna get ahead and I just, I put them all in that freezer. They all fit. So you can fit a lot of freezer meals in in your freeze, a regular freezer, especially when you cook, when you freeze them in bags and then they freeze flat. I'll show you how I flatten them and put them in my freezer. And I know today I froze all of these in bags. This was actually a poll that I did on Instagram. I said, what do you wanna to use to store these meals? Do you want me to use bags because they can be stored flat in the freezer and maybe you already have them or maybe they're free, like you already have a the disposable bags in your pantry, or maybe you've already purchased our reusable ones. Or do you want to use containers, which are great. I'll show you these. I bought that container at the Dollar Tree. In the past, there was one time I made 17 Instant Pot freezer meals at once, and I froze them all in those containers. I bought 17 of them from the Dollar Tree because they're the exact shape of the Instant Pot. Because you can add all of these meals to your Instant Pot completely frozen. And it's just really easy to pop them out of that circle container and put them right in the Instant Pot. However, they're big. I mean, if you don't have a chest freezer, you're probably not gonna be able to fit 10 of those containers anywhere. So I wanted to show it to you because it's just a cool hack, a cool thing to know. Maybe if you froze one, maybe if you gave it to someone as a gift, it might be nice just to do one circle container. Maybe you just want to give it a try, but um, otherwise uh, we will stick with, stick with this. So let me go ahead, add this to my bag, and then I'm going to wash my hands because that is all of my meat. So just give me one minute. All right, let's go ahead and seal all of these meals and I'll show you how I get the air out of them. All right, shake them down. You're gonna seal them so that you get almost to maybe like two to three inches here and then squeeze the air out. Really put some muscle into it, squeeze it the rest of the way and flatten this. And I'm gonna go one by one, really quickly flatten these. You do not need any kind of special sealer. Um, you can just flatten them like this, put them right in your freezer. They will stay good for at least three months. I've eaten them much longer than that, but I typically say three months. There, I need another Band-Aid, I'm sorry. Bear with me for one minute. I, whenever I was cutting uh, that very last roast, I actually 
just cut my finger a tiny bit. It's like the smallest, the smallest little cut, but it's bleeding, and I obviously don't want to uh, get that on anything. So give me one second just to get a Band-Aid on it. Let me just wash my hand again real quick. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna stack all of these meals right in my freezer. And then, like I said, they're good for at least three months. When you take them out, you'll be ready to cook them. I will show you a demo of how I cook these in my Instant Pot. It's really, really simple. And I hope at this point, I hope that you are just like bursting with motivation. You are ready to make these meals. <laughs> you are ready. You're like texting your friends. Oh, this is another shrimp. <laughs> the shrimp is in the freezer. So I bought frozen shrimp. So I'll add that. I just wanted to keep it frozen. And you are just, like I said, ready to text your friend. Maybe it's your daughter. Maybe it's your daughter-in-law. And you're like, wait till you hear what I learned today. <laughs> like, we are making these freezer meals. <laughs> because they really are, like, that good, that life-changing. And I love just sharing, sharing my energy and enthusiasm with you during these classes. There you go. Like I said, two minutes in the Instant Pot. That's how long that shrimp takes which is just crazy. It's like if you know you need to make dinner and you don't know what to make, you can just grab something right from your freezer. It's so simple. Okay, two more. Now I know a lot of our members are here today. Thank you. If you have enjoyed my membership site yet, I wanna take a minute and just quickly demo, show you how it works, show you how I would use it to plan my next group of freezer meals because it's seriously one of a kind. Like you don't understand it unless you see it. And if you are a member, it's really gonna just give you a refresher of what kind of recipes are on there and how I use it to plan my freezer meals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add these to my freezer. Then I'm gonna grab my other mic. I'm gonna grab my computer so that I can actually just show you how the site works. This is Family Freezer VIP. <laughs> you can log in to see all of my recipes that can be frozen raw. And the great thing is 12 new recipes are added every month and you can see them here. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Uh, let's go into an individual recipe so I can show you how they look. Let's go in here and you'll be able to see uh, again the little photo and then the ingredients. These are all really simple, simple recipes that tell you exactly how to freeze them later and then how to cook them. This is a crock pot and a, or a grill recipe. I have a bunch of Instant Pot, uh, a lot of crock pot mostly, but also air fryer we're adding and uh, so many options. Full nutritional info and a note section if you make the recipe and wanna make a note for next time. I wanna show you one of my favorite features of VIP and that is our search. Oh my gosh, okay, so. We have predefined filters. So those are these little circle icons where I could look at all the crock pot recipes or the Instant Pot, chicken, beef, vegetarian, gluten-free, just these really quick predefined filters. You can also do keyword. So let's say I have a red pepper that I bought at the grocery store or maybe my family really loves red peppers. You could type that in and then go ahead and see all the recipes that would feature red peppers. But the best search is our advanced search. This is it right here. I'll go back to the homepage so you can see when you're on the homepage where you would find it. It's this advanced search and filter. And if you click on it, you can filter by diet, dairy-free, diabetic, gluten-free, ketogenic, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, whole food, which is like Whole30. We have my cookbooks, if you're familiar with them. We have cooking method. We're, like I said, we're just starting to add air fryer. We have tons of crock pot. We have grill, instant pot, oven, and stovetop. 
those are those 15 minute meals when you're really short on time. Protein, beef, chicken, lamb, that's new. Pork, seafood, we're adding more seafood, turkey, vegetarian. And cuisine, American, Asian, Caribbean, Indian, Italian, Mediterranean, Mexican, Middle Eastern, North African, so many options. You could eat this every night of the week. And online classes. So if you've attended my classes or even this class and you want to see where the recipes are and make a new shopping list, you could do that here. And maybe the coolest thing is that you can you can combine these filters. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so let's say we want a gluten-free recipe that can be cooked in the crock pot and features chicken. You can combine those and then search and find like the perfect recipe that you know your family is going to love. So let me show you some other features that I like. One of them are these recipe collections. Now, these are groups of recipes. I think of them as my, maybe like my recipe playlists. And everyone gets this favorite, favorite recipes collection when they join. These are ones that I've created. So I created a summer seasonal one. Some that I make when chicken is on sale, when ground beef is on sale. I did a vegetarian Indian one for my very best friends. And meals to make next month. So these are my next group of meals to make. I'll show you how it works. In here, you have the recipes. You can adjust the servings if necessary. You could do more or less. And then you can, this is where you would access a shopping list. So after I pick all my meals for next month, I'm just hitting this shopping list and it auto generates like seriously one second the full shopping list organized by section of the grocery store everything that I need and if that wasn't enough you can edit it so let's say I'm gonna make chocolate chip pancakes for my kids next month it's like okay let's put chocolate chips on there or let's scroll down I'm gonna show you exactly how I use this I would even add a group. So let's say we add household items because I like to have one shopping list. I wanted to go to the grocery store one time and buy one thing. So let's get our tissues and add an item. Let's get toilet paper. <laughs> and then I won't forget anything at the store. So I just go back to the top and I can stop editing this. I can save it. So then if I come back on here tomorrow, next week, next month on my phone, whatever it is that is saved. And I will show you how to print it. So you can go ahead and print the shopping list. It has all the recipes, items. You could be crossing off items here or on the previous screen. But if you have some of these on hand and you don't need them, you can cross those off and you can also print the recipes because you're going to need to know what you're making. These are really printer friendly and they even include the label. You can cut here. It says cut label here. This would print on a separate piece of paper and you could just tape this on your freezer bag, but it would tell you exactly what's in the bag and then how to cook it. So let's go back to the main page so I can just show you a couple things. This is your account section. It has your account info and it has all my ebook downloads. You get free access to all of those and save the best for last family freezer TV because this is a full class library. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> all of my classes that I've taught. These are videos that you can watch on demand anytime you want. And if you click inside, you will be able to watch the video here. This is where you can play it. And it has a list of the recipes, even a link directly to the recipes. No checking your email. It's right here. It has all the recipes and the full shopping list and the printable labels and literally everything you need at your fingertips. Like <laughs> amazing, right? If you haven't joined yet, go to the family freezer.com slash VIP, thefamilyfreezer.com slash VIP, because you can join for $97 sign fee good for an entire year. You can use this site over and over and over again to make freezer meals. I mean, <laughs> how many times do you think you'd have to make freezer meals for this to pay for itself? Like once, twice?
I don't know. I mean, I've saved so much money with these meals that this is just so great. It was for an entire year. And you can read more about the site and the membership, everything I showed you during the demo, the brand new recipes every month, the full class library, the filters, the printable labels. Read more about our members, how they're using the site, the diets they're on. They're making meals for their children, their grandchildren. They are making them for people in their church. They shop at different stores. I mean, these meals are working for so many people. You'll see what they love about the site. You can read about the 12 brand new healthy recipes that added every month, all of our exclusive VIP features, family freezer TV, <laughs> and the eBooks, downloads, printables that are included in your membership. You get it all, it's all in VIP. I tried to answer every single question you could possibly have about it. You click join now. Again, you will see that $97 sign up fee for one full year. After that year, it drops down to only $49 a year, but you can cancel anytime in that My Account section I showed you. But this year, it's only $97, and of course, I did the math. <laughs> it works out to only $8.08 .08 per month. And a thank you for attending today's class. I'm going to share a coupon code. You can enter coupon code INSTANTPOT. And for the next two days, you will save an extra 20%. So that is going to bring your total down to $77.60. That works out to only $6.47 a month. So good. So two days only, use coupon code INSTANTPOT for $77.60. And if you already paid $97, if you already joined, don't feel bad. Like you jumped on it and you're going to save so much money making these meals. I know there's probably someone who needs to wait until next month to join. Again, pay the 97. You're going to save a lot of money and you're going to be eating healthier. It's worth it. But if you can join over the next two days, I would love for you to get that savings. Use coupon code instant pot to save 20%. I know someone's going to email me next week and they're going to be like, Hey Kelly, do you have any coupon codes? <laughs> and I'll say, no, I'm so sorry, but we're only able to offer these during our classes. Two days only instant pot save 20%. I want to show you a couple things in the checkout. The first being your email address, double check it, make sure it's correct. That's where we send your login info, your username and password, write these down so that you remember how to log into the site. And then once you enter in all your info and you sign up, you can start using the site today. So let's go ahead and get to the demo. I want to show you how to cook all of these meals in your instant pot. Now I have two myself. I have a three quart and I have a six quart. I use the six quart most often because it's the same size as my crock pot and fits basically all of my meals. But if you are making smaller meals, cooking for less people, you can use the three quart and the cooking times are the same. So that'll work for both of them. I'm going to show you how to cook one of these meals. Let's go ahead and pick one. Hmm. Well, I'll pick two. I couldn't decide. So the first option is this basic barbecue chicken. This is super simple. All you need to add is a quarter cup of chicken broth. That keeps it from burning. But all you do is you open up your Instant Pot, you dump this in, you add your quarter cup of chicken broth that keeps it from burning and helps it reach pressure. Close it up. It's sealed. You do pressure cook for 25 minutes. Pressure cook, you would type it in the 25 minutes, and then that's it, <laughs> it cooks. I do a natural release, I think it makes the meat really tender, and then it will release all the pressure. When the valve drops down, you open it, you take it out, you shred up your chicken, dinner is done. This one says you serve tops with a little bit of barbecue sauce, I think it's a tablespoon of barbecue. And I love this on hamburger buns. We just made this the other night. Some of my kids ate it plain. My son loved this on a hamburger bun. He had it for lunch the next day. I'll show you how to cook this creamy chicken penne because it's a one pot meal, a little bit more complicated and really uses all the features of the Instant Pot. So what you would do is you would add this to your Instant Pot. It can be completely frozen as long as it fits. You might have to thaw it if the, depending on the shape of the frozen meal. You add one cup of chicken broth. Then you seal it up, you pressure cook it for 25 minutes. 
you natural release. You open it up, you shred up the chicken, and then you're gonna cook the pasta right in the Instant Pot. So what the label says is that you add the pasta, it's three cups on here, you add the three cups of dry penne pasta and two cups of chicken broth. You just kind of press the pasta down, don't mix it all up, just press it down, it's all in here. You seal it up, we pressure cook it for three more minutes, and at the end of those three minutes, you turn the valve and you quick release the pressure. So the pressure comes out of the Instant Pot, it says wear an oven mitt, <laughs> so you don't burn your hand. But the pressure comes out, and then you open it up, because you don't want to overcook those noodles, you want al dente penne pasta. And then you add in to a mixture of one cup heavy cream and two tablespoons cornstarch. You whisk that in a little bowl, you pour it in, you stir it up, and you're gonna have the creamiest, most delicious sauce ever. One pot meal uh, for dinner. So good. I know you're gonna love it. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming. I just wanna say like how I really think these are gonna work for you. These are your meals. When it's five o'clock, you don't know what's for dinner. You're gonna grab it from your freezer, put it in your Instant Pot, less than an hour, some of them less than 30 minutes, dinner is gonna be done. I have a couple final shout outs. Cheryl had messaged me, I'm a member, I love this plan. I just had chicken fajitas from the freezer, they were delish. It really makes it easier to have a nice meal ready to make. Carrie Center family loves your membership site. The recipes have been so yummy and easy. I love having meals in the freezer ready to go. Thank you for such a great membership. Thank you, Carrie. And Mary said, I can't thank the Family Freezer enough for helping me make meal planning so much easier. I just did 12 freezer meals a few days ago for this month. I'm going to have to buy a small deep freezer so I can more freezer meals prepped at once. My family of five with three boys loves them. So thanks, Mary. And I just want to thank everybody for attending today. If you have questions, please email me and email me your success stories. I want to hear from you. I can't tell you how many emails and messages I get every day with your stories. And I just am so grateful for you. It really motivates me to just keep going and keep sharing. So thank you so much. I'll see you later.